The highway plays a vital role in the country's economic growth by connecting people and transporting goods. We may unaware of many implementations that the experts used for our safety while we are on the road. One of them is super elevation. The term super elevation is denoted in both road and railway transport, especially in curved pathways. Super elevation is the transverse slope along the width of the road provided by rising from the outer edge of the road to the inner edge throughout the length of the horizontal curve. It is provided to facilitate the safe passage of the vehicle in a horizontal curve. Super elevation reduces the effect of centrifugal force on the running wheels. If super elevation is not provided with the entire centripetal force is produced by the friction between the vehicle's tires and the roadway, thus results and reduces the speed of a vehicle. Super elevation formula E plus F equals V squared over G times R. E equals rate of super elevation. F equals design value of coefficient of lateral friction equals 0.15. V equals design speed of the vehicle meters per second. G equals acceleration due to gravity equals 9.8 meters per second squared. R equals radius of the horizontal curve with meters. Substituting G equals 9.8 and converting V to kilometers per hour, we get E plus F equals V squared over 127 times R. Purpose of super elevation. 1. To counteract the effect of centrifugal force acting on the moving vehicle to pull out the same outward on a horizontal curve. 2. To help a fast moving vehicle to negotiate a curved path without overturning and skidding. 3. To ensure safety to the fast moving traffic. 4. To prevent damaging effects on the road surface due to improper distribution of load. Advantage of super elevation. 1. It allows running of the vehicle at high speed on a curved path as on a straight path without any danger of overturning and thus results in increased volume of traffic. 2. It provides more or less even distribution of load on wheels and hence uniform stress is offered on the foundation which results in less wear on wheel tires and springs as well as the economy and maintenance cost of the road. 3. It also helps to keep the vehicles to their proper side on the pavement and thus prevents collision of vehicles moving in opposite directions on a curved portion of the road. 4. It provides drainage of the whole width of the road towards the inner side. Thus, there is no necessity of providing a side drain on the outer side of the road. Design Procedure of Super Elevation Step 1. Calculate the super elevation necessary for 75% design speed, 0.75 V, and assume no lateral friction is developed. As per practical conditions, it is suggested that super elevation should be provided to fully counteract the centrifugal force due to 75% of the design speed by neglecting lateral friction, F equals 0, developed. E plus F equals V squared over 127 R. E plus 0 equals 0 0.75 V squared over 127 R. E equals V squared over 225 R. Step 2. If the calculated value E is less than 7% or 0 0.07, then provide the obtained value. If it exceeds 0 0.07 then provide the limiting value of super elevation E maximum equals 0 0.07 and proceed to the next step. Step 3. Check the coefficient of friction developed for the maximum value of E equals 0.07 at the full value of design speed. E plus F equals V squared over 127 R. 0.07 plus F equals V squared over 127 R. F equals V squared over 127 R minus 0.07. If the value of F thus calculated is less than 0.15, the super elevation of 0.07 is safe for the design speed. If not, calculate the restricted speed as given in step 4. Step 4. If the calculated value of F exceeds 0.15, then the speed of the vehicles is restricted to the value VR meter per second or VR kilometer per hour as calculated after allowing the limiting values of E and F in the following equation. Let's calculate the value of restricted speed, VR. Therefore, V equals VR. 
plus f equals v squared over 127 r. 0 0.07 plus 0 0.15 equals vr squared over 127 r. vr equals square root of 127 r times 0 0.22. If VR greater than V then E equals 0.07, F equals 0.15. If VR less than V, still E equals 0.07 and F equals 0.15. In the case of an important highway, it is always desirable to design the road without speed restrictions at curves. Hence, the curve should be realigned, if possible with a longer radius of curvature so that the design speed can be maintained without any restriction. Calculate the superelevation required for the road of 7 meters wide on a curve of 250 meters radius for permissible speed of 80 km per hour. Let the coefficient of friction be 0.15 and centrifugal ratio 1 per 10. Putting all the values in the formula we get. E plus 0.15 is equal to 80 squared over 127 times 250 is equal to 0.201. Therefore superelevation equals 0.201 minus 0.15 is equal to 0.051 per meter of carriage way. Superelevation equals 0.051 times 7 is equal to 0.357 meters above the inner edge of the road. Check whether it is in the allowable limit. Superelevation limit equals 1 per 10 times width equals 1 per 10 times 7 is equal to 0 0.70 meters. The computed value is in limit. As a result, that's okay. 35.7 centimeters could be provided like the full super elevation on the same road. Hope this video was useful for you. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions using the comments form below. We will love to hear from you.